So, and welcome to Math Bootcamp Skill Number Four. Today we we'll look at equivalent fractions and simplifying fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions uh, look different, but they express the same value. They have a different numerator and denominator, but they still represent exactly the same value. And simplifying a fraction is to reduce it to its simplest form. It's always easier to visualize small fractions than large ones. So let's start with equivalent fractions. So our first step here says we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number. It could be anything. You could pick multiply by 2, multiply by 3, multiply by 4, multiply by 100. It doesn't matter. Let's pick one. Let's pick a simple one, 2. So if I multiply both the top and the bottom by 2, I get 6 over 10, which is equivalent to my original fraction, which was 3 fifths. It looks different, but it represents the same value. Let's do a second example, the integer 10. So 10 is not a fraction, but that's not a problem. We can make it a fraction by adding a 1 as a denominator. 10 divided by 1 is still 10. And we do the same thing. We multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. Let's pick 5 this time. It could be anything. So 1 times 5. And I get 50 over 5. And... 50 over 5 is the same thing, or 50 divided by 5, the same thing as 10 over 1, which is the same thing as 10. So 50 over 5 is an equivalent fraction. Now, you may be asked to find an equivalent fraction with a specific denominator. For example, to find the equivalent fraction uh, to 4 seventh, which has the de denominator 21, you often need to do this when you add fractions. Therefore, the first step tells us to find a number that multiplies 7 that will give me 21. So what number multiplied by 7 will give me 21? Of course, 3 times 3. Now, to make it an equivalent fraction, remember from the previous example, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by that number 3. So I go 4 times 3 and 7 times 3. Of course, I get my 21 as the denominator, and I get 12 as the numerator. Simple. Okay, simplifying fractions, also called reducing fractions. Let's start with the bigger one, the most difficult one, 30 over 45. Um, well, they have 5 in common, 5 divides 30, 5 divides 45. There's also a bigger one, 15. But let's say we didn't see the 15. Sometimes the numbers are big, it's hard to find a, a, a common factor. So let's say we only see 5. So let's divide um, here, say. So we decide that 5 is our factor. So we need to divide both the top and the bottom by 5. And what do we get? We get 6 over 9. Now, is this in its simplest form? No, because 6 and 9 still have a factor in common, which is 3. In which case, then we're going to go back to step 1, and um, we do all three steps. So we now have 6 and 9. The factor that they have in common is 3. 3 divides both 9 and 6 evenly. And we divide 6 divided by 3, it's a little messy, and 9 divided by 3, and so 6 divided by 3 is 2 thirds. Now, this is in its simplest form because 2 and 3 have no factors in common. Now let's try this um, 15 over 20. I'll show you a faster way of doing this. This can get pretty messy. And you've probably remember seeing this before. Um, so what? Whoops. Uh, what's the number that is a factor for in both 15 and 20? So that would also be five. 
So what we're going to do instead is do part of it in our head and say 15 um, divided by 5 is equal to 3 and 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. And then write our answer 3 fourths. A little easier and faster. We're done.